Tom Paine said hereditary power was as implausible as having hereditary mathematicians, and Ben Franklin compared monarchy to the potato, since any goodness, like old kings and queens, lay underground. The initial role of a king, deriving from the word kindred, was once to be the tribe's highest common factor. But when virtues traded for war profiteering and the rest, then its bubble can be said to have burst. In the ancient mariner, Coleridge wrote of a man doomed by his having killed an albatross. A similar curse attaches to the ibis, the slow, celestial bird revered in hieroglyphs for changing the tides. In Egypt, the moon god Thoth would appear as an ibis, and with his wife, Mart, Thoth made a cosmic egg. It was to feed the sun god with an harmonious essence, and its bounty would pervade and support creation. Eons later, a fake House of Windsor, a less magical fable, built on fly-blown genealogies, has to crumble with its offspring being turned out of their gilded cages, allowing the wildlife they persecute to fly free. <laughs>